Okay, now you can see that all of the applications have downloaded onto my LibreKey from the installed suite. And LibreKey has gone and organized these for us, which is nice. Now, the liver key, you can see I have mine kind of moved up a little bit. You can just left click and move your liver key to wherever it works best for you on your desktop. You can make it a little smaller, a little larger, make it taller, whatever you would like to do. Also, here is your most used tab. So once you start to dig in to the Libre key and start to find the applications that you really like, they will get automatically placed here. This is the most recent tab. So the applications you've used recently will end up there. And this will always just be your Libre key tab. Here, as you can see, this is your large icons tab. Click on it and it will just show you the same folders but just in a little bit different of a format. Instead of having a list, it's kind of an icon based approach. So now you have all these applications on the Libre key. This button down here, Liberty Key Tools. Go ahead and left click on that. When you left click on that, it shows you the Liberty Key Tools. If you would like your Liberty Key to be a different color, you can come up to Configuration, click on the left, left click on it. The Configuration tab will come up. You can make your Liberty Key this color. Maybe a little purple pink here. Maybe this is purple. Blue. Whatever you would prefer. I'm going to use this blue. Click apply. Go ahead and close it. So you can change the color of your liver key. Maybe you want it to match your desktop a little bit better. I would like to bring your attention to this Notice right here, disable file associations. You want this to actually say enable file associations. This will make it so that your documents, things that you already have saved on your computer will open with no problem using the Liberty key. So, how would you actually even open an application? Say you wanted to use something like Microsoft Office. Or you wanted to use a particular PDF that you have saved. So here you have PDF Exchange Viewer. I actually prefer the PDF Exchange Viewer over Adobe Acrobat. Acrobat. So you left click on it, shows you just a little caption of what this is. It allows you to view, print, export text and images and add content to PDF files. It supports added comments and annotations to any PDF file. So you decide you want to use it, you click on launch. It launches the PDF Exchange Viewer and then you can open whichever PDF you might want to open. Click open, 
there you go. This is PDF Exchange Viewer. You want to add to this, you can say You can add, you can type right in there, click that off, you can even, you can move your message around, you can freehand draw on here, um, very many options. So that's just one example. That's just one example of how to open an application. You find the particular application you'd like to use, left click on it, click launch. Or you can simply double click and it will do the same thing. And there you go. And there's paint. Okay, so that should get you started enough that you can actually play around, look at some of the different applications that are already available, and look at maybe what applications would be useful for your particular classroom setting. Thank you and stay tuned for the next tutorial.